studio song. And we definitely can't afford that. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> these days, maybe you could. You know, the technology's so cheap. Well, that's true. That is true. Yeah, that is true. So, uh, what are you... Uh, I'm looking at your website. Well, your hat, MySpace site. Looks like you just played someplace called Mexicali Prague in Mexico, and you're, and you're playing at uh, Prague Day in Chapel Hill. Tell me about uh, what happened in Mexico and what's up coming up in North Carolina. Well, we... Um, there's a guy in Mexico that um, used to organize uh, um, uh, Baja Prague, and um, he's actually he's doing a, a kind of a private show, and he, he found us, I think through the MySpace page, but uh, asked if we could come down and, and do this show in Mexicali, so we're going to, you know, we're, we're really looking forward to it, um, and we're, you know, packing up all the gear and uh, hitting the road, and we're, we're going to make the drive from uh, from L.A. to Mexicali. It's coming up in a few weeks here, and do that gig, and I guess he's got a real nice uh, venue for for, uh, for playing, yeah. so we're really excited about that. How long a drive is that? Just curious. Uh, it's going to be about a four-hour drive, and from what we understand, through the desert in August, uh, <laughs> Mexicali, we're ready. We we got to make sure that the van has air conditioning. That's for sure. Yeah. We've talked about that a little bit, and uh, and then uh, Prague Day, um, we got asked to play at Prague Day, which is you know one of the Prague festivals, and. Uh, Really looking looking forward to doing that. The uh, Muffins are uh, one of the bands playing, and uh, it's a classic prog band from from way back when, and uh, and that should be fun too. How, uh, you gonna drive there too? No, <laughs> that one we're not. We talked about it. We actually did talk about uh, trying to make it into a road trip, but uh, nobody could uh, get off of work that long. I think that was the biggest limiting factor. So we're going to fly out. We're trying to coordinate how to get our gear there, and uh, you know we're we're making all those travel arrangements, and then we'll be there. It's over Labor Day weekend, uh, and it's uh, it's real cool. It's a outdoor big outdoor festival where everybody sets up tents, and uh, just looks like a whole lot of fun. We're Really, really looking forward to doing that too. That's great. I think those kind of experiences are, uh, are uh, you know, uh, more in demand now with you know, uh, not just live gigs at bars, but kind of festivals that are events, especially with everyone, you know, stuck in their home and their iPods jamming the tunes, where uh, they don't get as much concert experience as they used to. Well, and the, and the other thing, too, is we've done a few shows here in L.A. that have been, you know, really fun and, and I think good shows. But um, to get a, a group of people together that are all into Prague and appreciate that kind of music, that's what the festivals, I think, are all about. I mean, we're just really looking forward to these two gigs that we're playing there. You know, everybody's going to uh, be there, not, not by chance, but because they're they're lovers of the genre. And, you know, that's going to be really satisfying to, to play to people that. Uh, just love, love the music, you know. Right. So, so gigging local. Do you do you do a lot of it? Is it, uh, you know, what, what's your what's your? Do you have a plan or a strategy, or like you have a, a radius around LA you gig in, or what? It's funny. It, it's uh, we kind of have like slightly differences of opinion in the band of, uh, you know, how much we should be playing the local area. And you know, one school of thought is that if you play a lot and keep playing, you build a following and you kind of you tend to believe that a little when you do a show and there's people that come up and say, oh, my gosh, where did you guys come from? And, yeah. and you know, when are you playing again? And you think, wow, if we do this enough, you know, we could really build a following. But um, L.A. is just a really hard city to, to build a following in. So you end up doing these. Why is that? Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I don't know why that is, but uh, I think especially in the genre of music that, that we're playing, I think people don't, I don't know. I'm not sure why that is, but, um, not, not that I know anything. I'm a, I'm a dope who just reads about how to do, you know, have success versus, you know, achieve success. <laughs> but this guy, um, Martin, Martin Atkins, he's kind of a, a guru, uh -huh. marketing guru. I just bought his, his book about touring and his, he's very blunt and uh, frankly profane, but he's like, move the hell out of LA, move out of New York. Yeah. Uh, these are big markets where no one cares because there's there's a million different bands. I mean, maybe that's it. You're just drowning in good music. 
Well, it's funny that because Ronan actually told us the exact same thing, and and I've heard other people say the same thing too. It's like if you really want anybody to listen to you, you got to get out of L.A. And I think it's and New York's probably the same thing. I think it's also partly because people are just jaded; they're just bombarded with so much, you know, from music to to clubs to you know whatever it is. There's just so much so much distracting people that um, you know the shows are fun, but when you do the shows you've got to you got to get people out there so you know a lot of people at the shows end up being people that uh you know that you know and that you've asked to come and and uh, it becomes more of a kind of like a, a family affair you know it's like you're playing playing for your friends and for some new people but to build a following uh you know that that's a tough thing you know it pays to be a big fish in a small pond when you're trying to start from scratch yeah i think so i think so but that doesn't mean we've done our last show in L.A. I mean, we'll continue to do them, but, um, you know, not we, – we, we spread them out, you know, and, and try and make each one count and have a reason reason to do it, you know. So that's kind of where we're, where our heads are at now in terms of, you know, playing playing locally at least. All right. So, so your next gig, is your next gig the uh, August 7th uh, gig down in Mexicali? It is. <laughs> Mexico. Uh, we'll give a shout. I'll give a shout out to everyone uh, on the podcast, on Twitter, etc. And letting them, uh, well, I'm not sure I have any readers in Mexico yet, but <laughs> any uh, you know, frog hippies who are thinking about you know trailing you down in the uh, in the van. Uh, well, well, I guess there's uh, man, that's cool. And I guess there's you know, from what I understand or what I'm learning, uh, there's uh, Mexico has a big frog community. I mean, there uh, there's a lot of Mexican people into frog. So you know, um, that's I didn't know that. But I just, I think it's really cool. It is cool. I mean, did you see the um, happen to see the Rush documentary that came out recently? It is on my list. I'm really looking forward to seeing it, and um, and I was actually going to see it this weekend and wasn't able to. So um, anyway, don't spoil it for me. But what were you going to say? Uh, well, I was just going to key off what you were saying. Uh, I don't know what it is about Central South America, but they tell the story about when they went to that. Uh, they they did that big album in Rio. When they went to Rio and they sh- they actually showed footage of the fans, I mean there was like a hundred thousand people like screaming, bouncing up and down. I don't know what is it what it is about you know South America and progressive music, but it seems that's or Central America that's where it's at. Odd. That's so cool. And you know, of course, Europe I think is way you know uh, way into Prague or has been a lot of in a lot of ways more than than the here in the states so it's 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 good knowing that it's it's alive and well in uh, a lot of the world you know makes me feel good yeah me too cool well thanks so much for talking steve and good luck and we'll uh keep in touch with us okay well thank you very much for uh for your time i really appreciate it thanks for listening you can find out more about the band at their website marshollow.com and become a fan of their facebook page uh, facebook.com slash Mars Hollow. We conclude with another full track from their self-titled debut. This one is called Midnight. Take care.
Shine down 